Hello, everyone. My name is Mikoy Wojniak. I'm from University of Oldenburg, and today I would like to talk to you about smart homes. When we hear the word smart home, we can easily name a number of smart technologies, home automation, or so entertainment devices, all orchestrated into one coordinated entity. However, what is less immediate for some is to notice that the crucial part of the smart home is the home and the people that live there. And in our work on inhabiting interconnected spaces, we try to shed some more light onto how the users shape and appropriate the smart home ecologies they live in. Our work is strongly inspired by Taylor et al., who claimed that the role of technology is to marshal, display, leverage, and work upon the intelligence imbued by the people. And past works on smart homes looked how the adoption of technology affected the relationships in the home, how the gender roles evolved in presence of technology, and how the household labor has changed when the new digital competencies started to be required to maintain a home. We built upon those works, trying to deepen the understanding of the lived experience of smart homes. To this end, we organized an interview study. Inspired by contextual inquiry, we decided to conduct our interviews at participants' homes. Using a pre-study survey, we identified 20 households whose ecosystems existed for at least half a year and that consisted of at least three functionally different systems. Therefore, we were able to reach beyond the process of adopting the technology and probe the long-term experiences. Our resulting data corpus consisted of the transcripts of audio recorded interviews, the researchers' notes, and the photos taken at participants' residences. We conducted an inductive thematic analysis process that resulted in five major themes, namely motivations and benefits, humans in the ecosystem, interconnectedness and confl conflicts in the ecosystem, and trust and sense of control. All these themes discuss the key findings of our study that can inspire uh, designers of future smart home systems. We also formulated five overarching recommendations for smart home technologies. And the remainder of this talk, we'll discuss some of them in detail. Our results show that large one-stop platforms are the thing of the past. Nowadays, users gradually develop their ecosystems, starting with a particular technology that solves a particular issue. One of our participants shared a story where they started expanding their ecosystem from installing some security measures after experiencing a burglary. Therefore, we advocate that future smart home platforms should support the mix and match model of interconnectedness and allow the user to actively shape what systems should become the ingredients of their personalized ecosystems. We also inquired our participants about what strategies they use to administer their smart homes. We were interested if total interconnectedness promoted by Wiser's vision is actually a relevant thing. Interestingly, we spotted multiple grouping strategies where participants grouped and the, their devices and looked at their affinities to manage their ecosystems. Moreover, separation is not just a missing block in a puzzle, but indeed uh, an actual user choice to delegate certain systems to be outside of the greater ecology. An example of that was shown by one of our participants who decided that their bedroom space needs to be disconnected from the remainder of the ecology to preserve their Zen. We were also interested in recognizing different attitudes smart home inhabitants have towards their ecologies. We echo past research, recognizing that most smart homes still have this single administrator person that understands all the backbone of their ecology. However, we've seen a strong trend for the other users to become primary users of their smart homes, taking more and more initiative in both using the technology, but also sharing the effort of maintaining it. However, the smart home administrator is still responsible for any troubleshooting whenever something goes wrong. We believe that future smart home platforms should recognize various users. The vari uh, 
We believe that future smart home systems should recognize the variety of user attitudes and help the administrators map the hierarchies they meet at home onto the technological layer of their ecology. We also asked the participants about how they feel about living in a shared technological ecology. While sharing the smart home devices felt natural for the majority of our participants, they were much more concerned about the data they generate while using the technology. One of our users even displaced the, one of the shared devices, the smart home, into her personal space to be able to better exercise control on who can access her health data. We believe that future smart homes need to recognize that the users strive for also intermember privacy within the home and allow the smart home administrators to create care keys and configurations that will preserve everyone's right to decide whom to share their information with while facilitating easy sharing of particular technology pieces. In our paper, we analyzed the stories of 20 households to better understand how smart home technology can respond to the actual needs of the users. We believe that the future of smart home platforms lays in providing users with more agency, be it for deciding which components should constitute their system, recognizing their strategies and choices to interconnect or separate particular devices, but also by reflecting the social context of the home by recognizing different hierarchies and relationships between smart home inhabitants and respecting each other's right to privacy and comfort at their own home. I conducted this work together with Sarah, Donia, Marion, Heiko, and Susanne, and would like to kindly invite you to take a look at our paper. Thank you very much. <laughs>